Be me, sad and depressed. Mom comes over. She makes pancakes. Thanks, mom. I love you. Be me, loser working dead end job barely enough to pay rent. No friends. Don't talk to coworkers. Depressed. Mom comes over every week to cook several days worth of food and restock groceries. Cleans my place. Never asks for anything. Reminder to love your mom. Be me. German, 1.85 meters, slightly overweight, very ugly and mid-twenties. Not just insecure about my looks, actually ugly. Was told I am ugly by at least one person in every single grade even when I was skinny. Asked my parents if I am ugly. They only said I should not worry and that my personality is great. Not even my parents denied. Anyways, now the actual story. I have a part-time job in a small town convenience store. All co-workers are older, but they all like me because I am very reliable, feel good and validated. New co-worker starts. I am quite a bit taller. He's like 1.72 meters, but he's very handsome. Did not mind too much until it started to happen. Every time a woman our age comes in, they look at me and then at him. They always go to him. Often they already have a guest and they line up behind the customer. I say that my cash register is also open and they can come to me. They always ignore me. It hurts even more when he tells the women they can line up at my cash register as well and they say that it is fine, they will wait. This happens a lot during every single shift and it is starting to really damage my mental health. Used to really enjoy this job but I will probably quit soon. Be from Ukraine. Unironically use Reddit. Word is shit and stuff. Make a picture of my morning view with Ukrainian breakfast. Some positivity. Post it. It gets removed for being off topic. The entire subreddit is just about the war. 99% of the people are westerners just talking about Russia all day. They give each other awards for saying fuck Putin. These people don't give a shit about Ukraine. Be me. Get home from a long day at work. The redditor in my walk-up decides to display his hot sauce collection for the fifth time in three months. I hate it. Be me as a preteen, sheltered, innocent. One day at school I hear the phrase suck my dick. I am confused as to what this means and I ask a friend. He says it's something adults do during sex. In my head I imagine a woman inserting a straw into a man's urethra and slurping the urine out. Fast forward a few years, enter puberty. Have a feeling to masturbate. Remember people saying that sucking dick feels good. I get a pack of straws. Tape a few together creating one long straw. Start inserting straw into urethra, it hurts like fuck. I can't take it anymore and let out a scream. My dad barges in. He screams. Fast forward another few years. My dad has taught me all I need to know. I'm not the only one, right? I want a bike. Parents sold the one we had ages ago. Refused to get another. Finally have a job. I buy one. My mom is triggered and said I could get into an accident. Understandable, but... Says she thought at this age I'd be raising a family slash kids. I'm 29. Be me, squirrel. Climbing trees and burry nuts.png. Chad Squirrel tries to seal my nuts. Chase him away. Fucking Chad, stop going through my shit. One day cross the road. Make it 8% across the road. Suddenly car.jpg. Oh shit. Make a sudden U turn and run across the street again. Get run over and fucking die. My face when Chad Squirrel starts looting my stash of nuts. Bored playing video games. Also have a shitty PC. Decide to save up to buy a really good PC so I can play better games. Work hard. Eventually save up enough to buy one that can run a lot of shit. Really excited for a couple weeks. Fast forward now. Bored playing video games. The cycle never stops, does it, Anons? Typing this from inside an IHOP right now. Share joint custody of my daughter with my ex. Both think I'm a loser because all I do is talk about Japanese weaponry on 4chan and play MK. Daughter's birthday comes around at ex's house so I decide to show them how cool I am. Wrap my 25 inch machete up in gift wrap and eat to the party. X. Wow, you remembered to bring a gift. Shut up bitch dot gif. Time to break open piñata comes around and I excuse myself. Unwrap 25 inch machete and run to the backyard. Daughter is blindfolded, holding bat so I gently shove her out of the way so she won't get hit. Go ballistic on that paper mache horse. Sneakers and skills fly everywhere. Triumphantly spike my 25 inch machete into the ground then look around. Daughter is crying. None of the parents or children move. Ex pulls out her phone. Oh shit dot jpeg. Managed to jump the fence while everyone is still trying to process what happened. 
didn't have time to take 25 inch machete with me and drive off. I've stopped to gather my thoughts at this IHOP, where I'm typing this on my mini Mac. May have to leave the state or even the country. Be me, deadlift stooge. 6'4, 280 pounds. Leave the gym after a comfy lift and swim. Cutie cardio bunny Myron as I'm headed out. Next day go gym. Cutie there again. Decide to approach her with confidence. You look like Hodor. How does one recover from this? Be me. Went to all boys high school so didn't get much of a chance to talk to girls. Be me now in college. Work a casual job for some cash. Didn't work for like 6 months because of college. Bunch of new people are hired. Start getting regular shifts again. Girls now are starting to talk to me, engage in conversation but not sure why it's happening. Whenever I'm on break at the same time as one of these girls, they start just talking to me about stuff they did recently or stuff like that. Are these girls just used to attention so talk to whoever is around or are they actually interested in talking with me? How can I tell? Dude, check it out! There's nothing here! Isn't that scary? Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys!